feels great. Uh, obviously, I think we would like to end it in regulation where our power play there, but we uh, we came up with a big kill and found a way to win and, and shoot out. What did you think of the flurry around uh, the uh, opposition net there? One went off the post, one off his head, just didn't go in the back of the net. Yeah. What were you thinking when you witnessed all of that? I actually, I couldn't believe it because I had a perfect sight on Greeny and just right on the post and he had the, the far side there. Uh, wide open, but uh, you know, I thought you know they played uh, a pretty good game. The goalie made some big saves too, and um, we found a way, like I said, in the shootout. Speaking a little bit about Philip Ronick, I mean, he was out for that entire PK in overtime, and just his game overall, he seems to have a, both offense and a lot of bite to his game too. Yeah, uh, obviously that PK was huge. Uh, you know, the three guys that were on the ice. Uh, you know, as a goalie, that they'll, they'll sacrifice their body. They they have good sticks, and you know that's our pl our game plan was just to keep them on the outside and uh, kill kill the time. Just with Philip in, in general, though, I mean, just the season he's having he seems to really be coming into his own. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, he's got a great shot, so he's an asset on the power play, and um, you know, he's a great all-around player. I know it's always nerve-wracking uh, to kill off a penalty, but what's it like for a full two minutes in overtime for you? <laughs> Ah, uh, legs were burning, <laughs> but no, I, you know, I think obviously it's easier on a four on three than, um, you know, it just seems like they're, they're missing one guy in the middle there. So you kind of, uh, you know, you see him coming in or coming out. So I think he, it's easier to read. Um, but, you know, we did a good job. Had a couple of cracks in overtime, and can you believe the puck didn't win the net? How did all that unfold from your vantage point? Yeah, that was kind of crazy. Um, you know, we had a, he made some good saves. Um, and then Bernie made some big saves for us on the PK, and then um, you know we got the job done and shoot up. Tyler, what, what kind of impact does Philip Ronick have on the game? He really seems to have come into his own this season. Yeah, I mean he's playing confidently, and um, you know he's been unreal for us this year. Um, he makes good plays, smart plays, and um, obviously from the from the two goals there, um, you know just head up and, and making good plays. When you As somebody who likes to get under our opponent's skin yourself, do you appreciate <clears throat> the kind of bite he plays with? He seems to like to get into it with. Yeah, I mean he plays hard um, for a little guy. You know he plays hard, he hits and um, you know blocks shots and does all the little things right, and um, you know he gets rewarded. Were you surprised he was able to get that puck through to you? All that traffic? Uh, I mean, we, I knew he was looking at me the whole time. He just needed a uh, you know a better angle, and that's when he walked it across and um, you know made the play. Can you describe the end-to-end -end rush? I mean, it made your mind up that you were just going to skate through the whole team. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I, I saw an opening there, and uh, you know it's nice to get in the puck like that, where a lot of guys, uh, most of their players, are standing still. And uh, you know, I uh, felt like uh, I, I always watch Val Filippula do, you know, head fake the guy, and so I head fake the first guy like him, and uh, you know, use my speed to to go around the defenseman, and uh, kind of just opened up and. I uh, knew I was cutting it to the far post and, and trying to get across there. So um, it was, a, it was a, a good play by the other guys, uh, dropping it back to me. Can you talk a little bit about the impact Philip Peronic has on games? He's really having a good season. Yeah, he is. Um, you know, he's been uh, thrown in there. I mean, playing big minutes, a lot of responsibility. And, um, you know, he's done a great job. And, and I think uh, every part of his game has matured. And, and he's got a great shot. He's got a, a, you know, great first pass. So, you know, when he's out there, uh, he's a guy that will get the puck on your stick. And, you know, if you find him for his, his big one-timer, it's, uh, you know, it's always a dangerous dangerous play. So he's, uh, he's been a big uh, plus for us back there. I know you guys have fearless attitude that he has. He doesn't back down from anybody. And when he makes a mistake, he seems to really bounce back fast. Yeah, he does. He does. He just he just plays the game. You know, he, he loves hockey. He's uh, a guy that, uh, you know, just wants to make plays and and get the puck on on the other guy's sticks and make make uh, the players around him better. So um, he does play physical. He's, he's in your face. Uh, he's a guy that uh, I wouldn't want to play against, and I'm glad he's on our team. So, um, you know, it's, it's been great to see him uh, develop over the, over the year and, and even last year. How impressive is it? I mean, last year he was sent to the minors partly to focus on his PK, and now he's out for an entire two-minute PK in overtime. Yeah, uh, it's impressive. I mean, like I said, he's been thrown into to a lot of responsibility, and he's handled it uh, really well. He's a, uh, you know, I can't say enough good things about him, and uh, I can't say how important he is to this uh, this hockey team. So, um, you know, he's he's a he's a warrior, and he's someone that uh, we need on the ice. Dylan, can you take us through your game, the shootout winner? What what, what were you thinking? Did you know what you were going to do? Yeah, I did. Um, you know, that was. Uh, 
you know, pre-scout uh, that uh, was going to go to the blocker side from our goalie coach, Jeff Slaco and, um, you know, uh, hadn't been the best in, in shootouts in my career, and, uh, you know, I was actually going to plan on doing another move, but, uh, you know, he kind of convinced me into doing it, and um, it's a, it, was, it was a big goal for our team, and helps when, uh, you know, Bernie was as good as he was tonight, and even in the shootout. I couldn't believe it didn't go in. Ultimately, he made some saves. I, I was uh, just looking at the replay. I couldn't tell live if he had made saves. We just missed the net out. Greener hit the post, I think. I think he made two saves on Phil. I still haven't looked at it totally, but it was a mad scramble. I don't know how the puck didn't go in. So um, you'd hate to lose it after having those opportunities. So good for us to win it and uh, shoot out. Jeff, what kind of impact does Philip Polemic have on a game? I mean, just in the mm -hmm. picture, he seems to really have come into his own this season. And last season, you sent him to GR to work with his BK, and mm -hmm. now you have him out. Two yeah, no, and you know, and he's he's earned it. Uh, you know, we started him kind of the second option on the PK lots this year, and as we just kept looking at it, he he was a, a guy that we didn't seem to get scored on as much, and uh, uh, he's had to learn on the fly a little bit. Uh, he, he spent some time learning it last year, but he's had to learn in the NHL too. Um, really, really strong on the puck. So when he gets a chance to clear the puck, he clears it. Um, really, I think he's got really good instincts. It, to, for me, his best qualities are his competitiveness and his in his uh, in his instincts, and uh, uh, those two things come out. And certainly on a penalty kill. Well, as long as uh, you know, as long as the the role mirrors what he's going to do later in his career, and as long as his play mirrors, and by that I mean, you know, if you if you if you start playing outside of yourself because you got a bigger role than maybe um, you'd have if if we were in a better spot in the standings, then that can be dangerous. That's not the case with Phil. I think he plays uh, to his to his uh, to his strengths. I think he uh, um, knows what he is. Um, he's done a really good job of, of trying to create offense without uh, taking unneeded risk. Um, he's certainly learning. He says he making mistakes. Yeah, he's making mistakes. Made mistakes tonight, but I think he's learning as he goes. And the one thing he's done a good job of is being mentally tough. And, and if you weren't mentally tough, first of all, the, the non-mentally tough people normally don't make it to this level. But if you weren't really mentally tough right now, it could be a, a, some hard times. But he, he's, uh, he's really mentally tough. How are you seeing the opportunity for him to play a stretch uh, reflecting how that helps him be a better goaltender? You know, the numbers say he's a better goalie when he plays more. Um, that's just the, the, the history of it. So, um, you know, I, I would say that's probably true of lots of guys. Uh, it's easier to get in a groove. Uh, it's easier to uh, uh, kind of keep rolling with it. So you know, he's, he's done a good job. He's, he's worked, you know, he, he's had a, he had a tough start to his time here in Detroit. Uh, last season, the beginning of this season, neither one were probably what he wanted. And he's, he's kept, the thing about him is he keeps a positive attitude attitude he keeps digging in and he works and uh, I think that works paying off